Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Into the Breach. We are doing the final mission, the Volcanic Hive. Let's do it. You have a chance to wipe them out at their source, your humanity's last hope. I wonder if she's talking to you all the time, no matter what islands you do, because it always seems like she's the one who's here. From what I've seen, anyways. Digger, Alpha Blobber, throw a massive blob that will explode. Okay, and Alpha Firefly, which does three damage. Well, we'll just position our units. And confirm. Volcano, watch out for the active volcano. I'll do. Super Volcano, ooh, blocks movement and projectiles. I guess you can't kill the volcano. What about these mini volcanoes? Come on, everyone, we can do this. Deploying remote power pylons. They'll keep you connected to the grid. Oh God, why did you have to do this? It would have been easier without power pylons. We don't need the power grid. Alpha Blob only hitting the tank? Yo, that is that is very good. And then you're gonna get smoked probably and shot. <laughs> the tile here will turn into lava. We could stand in the lava and our shield would block the negative effect. Because this is not turning into a chasm. This is not being destroyed or killing target unit. It just says it'll turn into lava. We know what lava does. It lights an enemy on fire when they walk through it. We're massive. We have a giant freaking shield. We can punch this firefly to death, which won't kill the digger, but then we could just move in with a cannon mech and do it if we wanted to. What we probably want to do is, oh, it does three damage. My God, what we probably want to do is um, knock the alpha blobber into a Vec spawner. Because I really don't want to, I really do not want to worry about this at all. It's not doing anything if I move. But I want to kill the Alpha Firefly and I want to kill the Digger, which means we have to spend two units doing it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Order, environment first. He's not massive. Dude, never mind. The artillery can just knock him into the drink. Smoke bomb the al the uh, digger. He's dead because of two damage to the passive smoke. The firefly is going to get knocked into the drink, and he's going to get turned into lava, and he's going to drown in fire. That seems pretty acceptable. And then we can always just um, very simply kill the blob and then walk over here and punch the alpha blob or killing him instantly and there's only going to be three enemies on the next turn we can just, we can just kind of keep cycling killing three enemies at a time it seems like a very okay move very okay and i like that we have the tourist cannon now because we're not going to hurt ourselves doing this okay so first things first you're dead and you're dead uh now you're dead and now you're dead As long as this works in the correct order, yeah, you should be dead. Three enemies will spawn. Alpha Scarab, Alpha Firefly, Alpha Scarab. Now there are fireballs, okay. What do the fireballs do? Three enemies spawning. We might be able to block some spawns and kill some enemies here. Volcanic projectile. A fireball will strike here, destroying anything present. Okay, so if we leave th this Alpha Scarab here, he's dead. The Alpha Firefly, we can kill by knocking him into the water, but he's in a, a rough position for this because of the boulder that's here. We have to like hit the boulder and then knock him into the pit somehow? You know what we do? I think what we do is we use the artillery. It's gonna destroy the bowler, do a little bit of damage. It's gonna kill this guy, and then we can just walk over here. One, two, three, four. Well, we can use the cannon mech to walk over here and shoot this guy. We do three damage, but it will also do extra damage. And then this Alpha Scarab is gonna die because he's going to uh, get hit with a fireball. Okay, simple turn. A turn where there's really only one correct course of action, I think. I think 
I want to move back one. You're dead. Environment will kill you. End turn. Action available. Perfect. Regular Firefly. And two... These are the Exploder guys, right? The guys we, we just saw a second ago. They're gonna launch a goo ball. Oh no, they're just... Have I ever seen these guys before? The hell are... Launches artillery attack on two tiles. Okay. Damage three. So this one we don't have to worry about. This one we do have to worry about. We can punch him to kill him instantly on the fire. We'll take no damage from the shield, and the Firefly isn't even attacking on this turn. Okay, that's weird, but I guess it works. And I could even... I could artillery the Alpha Crab to knock the Firefly into the drink, move my cannon mech down, and knock him into the fire. Yeah, yeah, okay, we can, we can kill everything. We can absolutely kill everything. I know we're not blocking any spawns, but everything is dying, so I kind of don't care. If we can just kill everything on every turn, you know, punch for four, shoot for three, artillery for one, maybe knock something into a pit, or smoke for two damage. What are you? Is this armor guy? It's not armor guy, who is this? Scion Tyrant. All player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Okay, I would like to kill you. Never mind, you're dead. But we will take one point of damage before you die because Scion Tentacle happens before environmental damage. I'm okay with that. Honestly. I'm okay with that. So I think... Right, and there's fireballs. We have to make sure we move the artillery. I mean, I think we just punch you, we shoot you, and we artillery you. We have to shoot the Scion Tyrant first before we artillery the fire square to knock the beetle into the pit. Otherwise, he will hit a power pylon. But again, I think this is just a standard turn. You're dead to fire. I messed up. I needed to move the cannon mech first because now I can't get by the Alpha Scorpion. Okay, reset turn. That's a mistake. I gotta make sure I, I pay more attention to that. This is not the first time that's at, that has happened where I have made the wrong move which prevented me from moving secondarily. In fact, what I should probably be doing is moving anything that I need to move first that is not dependent on anything else. It's like, this is not dependent on anything else, these moves here. And once again, everything is dead. Incoming seismic activity, brace yourselves! The island's collapsing! Ah, goodbye, artillery man. Lovely. Sending down power pylons, keep more operational. We don't have any more. Keep them operational. Why give me these? This hive, it's too big for us to take out by ourselves. Bethany, that's okay. Deploying a Renfield bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. Keep the Vec from the bomb, it's our only chance. I do know one thing about this mission, which is that we actually don't have to defend the bomb. Apparently it's not a critical mission objective. Apparently it will um, not affect the primary object objective. I think we just get another one and it just takes longer. So we don't have to defend the bomb, but we should try our best to do that. Alpha Blobber. He's annoying because he's going to cause these issues here. A rock will fall here, killing any, any unit, and the environment happens before the, the blob dies. So the blob we don't have to worry about at all. Good. I would love to knock the beetle 
because he would he would kill himself in the lava. The Hornet we can punch, and the artillery mech can push the Hornet leader away from the buildings. It means we're not doing anything about the Alpha Alpha Blobber, and he is kind of an annoying threat. But I don't know how we can deal with everything here at the same time. We basically at this point have to choose. We could let the Renfield bomb. We could let the Renfield bomb get hit for two from the Alpha Hornet, and then kill the Alpha Blobber, which honestly might might be for the best. Getting rid of one target per turn is probably more valuable than the two HP on this bomb. We can keep it from getting hit in the future. We just gotta get rid of it now. And we need to, I realize now, we need to push the Hornet leader to the left, not to the right. If we push it to the right, it's still gonna do two damage to the bomb. Actually, if, no, it's not gonna kill the Alpha Blob. We don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. Yeah, so I think we move the tank here. We move the combat mech here, punch the blobber, move the artillery mech down to where the blobber is currently standing, fire an artillery shot at the hornet leader. Oh, but that's gonna push the alpha blob into the bomb, causing it to take one more point of damage. Damn it. Well, I mean, the other thing we could do is smoke. We could smoke the hornet and it will do two damage to the hornet and then it will move next turn. And the bomb will take two points of damage, but I don't think I don't think we can block everything. What we can do though is prevent one enemy from spawning, kill two alpha enemies, and what's especially good about this is that we do get rid of the, the blobber, and the blobber is super annoying here. So yeah, let's do that. So you're dead because you're in the pit. You're dead because you're punched to death. And no undo move. The artillery is just going to smoke the hornet. The bomb's gonna take two points of damage, but the bomb's tough, it will survive. I'm kind of taking two hits of damage on the bomb right now to say, hey, let's knock out the blobber and the beetle. They're very annoying enemies to deal with. I can handle a, you know, a hornet and whatever else spawns here. Alpha Firefly, regular Scarab. What are these? You're attacking a building. You're attacking the bomb. I can stand in front of an alpha attack and survive it. It's not that big of a deal. The unit here will die and the tile will, will turn into lava. Tentacles. Okay. It's all on our tiles. Okay, that's interesting. I mean... If I can kill the, it says the unit here will die and the tile will turn to lava. It doesn't say it doesn't say the tile will turn to lava, killing the enemy because the hornet flies. I think the tentacle will kill the enemy that is on this tile. So honestly, I want to knock the hornet leader onto the tile to kill him, and we can do the same thing with the environment goes first. We can do the same thing with the alpha firefly. But again, there's so many things happening here. I don't think we can we can save all of the damage something's going to take damage and honestly if something's going to take damage this is the end of the game this is the final mission if something's going to take damage i think we let the scarab the standard scarab hit the power pylon you know who cares um the tentacles will also stop this square from spawning which is actually really good if this happens in the same order where you get the, the rocks falling and then the tentacles coming out of the ground. That means you can always block a spawn and then it, the spawn point will die from the tentacles. That's really good to know. So how can we do this? How can we do this? We can artillery mech here, shoot this, hornet goes on the tentacle and die. Combat mech, move here. Shoot the firefly pushing it onto the tentacle and it dies. But we can't kill the Alpha Hornet. Unless we smoke bomb it. Which I think we're gonna do. And if we're going, going to do that, what we can do is we can move and block a spawn and then smoke the Alpha Hornet so the Alpha Hornet doesn't um, 
do four grid damage. My god, let's try to prevent that if we can. This does kill two alphas. I like that it kills two alphas. I guess the other thing I could do is position my my uh, cannon mech in front of the alpha firefly shot. Yeah. But um then the alpha firefly doesn't die. Because what does the, the, the mech do? The mech doesn't do anything. You can't hit the Alpha Hornet unless we want to hit him into the power pylon, which we could do to kill him. And then, oh, but the cannon mech can't even get into a spot where he can shoot the Alpha Firefly, so it's a moot point. So you move there, you move there, you move there. I think we're gonna have to smoke, which is not bad. You know, smoking shouldn't be... <laughs> smoking's not a bad thing, but no, smoking is not the end of the world here. I shouldn't worry about it so much. But you're dead. You're dead. We're gonna take one building damage. But two nasty units, including the leader, is going to die, and I do like that. We're not taking any bomb damage. This is acceptable. Dead. Yeah, those tentacles, they ate it up. Alpha Scorpion. Haven't seen one of you in a while. I guess you weren't present on the last island. But you look pretty easy to kill. <clears throat> Four enemies spawning. Okay. Alpha Hornet is dead to smoke. What is this? A rock will fall here, killing any any unit. I mean, I guess I could push the Alpha Hornet into the smoke, which would kill him. And I could do that with the artillery. Don't really see the point. I do see a point in standing here with the tank, because it blocks a spawn. But if I do that, I can't knock two enemies off of buildings. So I think what we're gonna do is punch, shoot, and smoke. Why smoke? Why not? You know, add smoke to the map. We have an advantage in smoke because we do two damage to enemies in smoke. We do three damage to that guy, which is a lot. Everything's dead except for the Scorpion. Now there will be five units on the next turn, but it's the last turn. If the power grid goes down and takes a beating, who cares, right? So Digger, Firefly, another Tyrant, and a Alpha Scarab. We're actually not taking that much grid damage here. And tentacles are not attacking the bomb. So I mean like the easy the easy choice here is you artillery this square which gets two kills. The second easy choice is you block a spawn, punch the tyrant, and then the third easy choice is you walk over here and you knock the scarab off of the uh, the power pylon do a lot of damage. We don't take any damage on anything, including our units. There is there is no other choice here, is there? That is that is the choice. Here. Not, we don't have any like move dependent things here, so we can we can do it one at a time. So this is double kill. Just checking to make sure there's no surprise leaders, but I think they have like a skull icon, so we shouldn't worry about that too much. So that's a double kill. This blocks a spawn and gets a kill on the Tyrant. Ooh, that affects the bomb. Tyrant affects the bomb, good to know. Then we shoot this guy. He's hitting a rock, who cares? And I think, I think that's it. I think we're done. Yeah. 
The Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now or you'll share a grave with the Vec. This is where we part, Riftwalkers, and wherever you end up, say hello to me for me. Farewell, Riftwalker, Riftwalkers, I won't forget you. Come on, Riftwalkers, we've got other timelines to save. Okay, Ralph. Ralph was talking to himself there because all the other Riftwalkers had already left. <laughs> uh, what an idiot. Ralph sucks. Experience is, is good for like your first pilot, but after that you get no benefit from it because he's already at max level. Bethany though with that shield, ooh, that's pretty good. Thanks to the valiant efforts of Bethany, Omar, and Ralph, the Beck Hive has been destroyed. Saving this timeline from ultimate doom, humanity can now begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the Vec. Island civilian lives protected. 19,650 total Earth lives saved approximately 4.6 billion. I guess most of humanity has been wiped out in the future. The game from Subset Games. Select one pilot to continue the fight. Ralph is nice for the mech reactor and the mech move, but his special is pointless. Starting a mission with a, with a shield is really nice. I don't like how it's a shield plus two mech H HP. I wish it was a shield plus mech move, but I think we I think we stick with Bethany, right? I think she is the best person we have. And having that shield is actually really nice. We can stand in lava. We can stand in acid. Um, we can prevent ourselves from getting frozen, so we can actually have a you know a little bit greater tactical positioning on certain map layouts, so I think we're gonna take her. I'm sorry, Ralph, you just suck because you, you your special is you gain XP. That, that's that's not very good. Maybe for if you're going for a two island victory, that's nice if you pick him up early, but Bethany's gonna come along with us. Oh, and there we go. Four island victory, normal. Normal. So that must be where we have to do it on hard in order to get it to say hard. Which we might do that next time. We have nine coin. <laughs> I guess it's called coins. We did all three of the achievements for the squad. So what the hell should we unlock here? Rusting Hulks, RST weather manipulators allow these mechs to take advantage of smoke storms everywhere. We kind of had a smoke synergy. So I don't think we need the Rusting Hulks anytime soon. Zenith Guard, Detritus... Detritus's beam technology and Pinnacle's shield technology create a powerful combination. I think I've seen this, these guys before. They're pretty good. Blitzkrieg. RSD engineers designed the squad around the mass destruction capabilities of harnessed lightning. I don't know what that means. I don't think it's, like, smoke storms because that's smoke storms. Smoke storms, I think. Steel Judoku. These mech specialized in positional manipulation to turn the VEC against each other, okay? Flame behemoths. Invincible to flames, these mechs aim to burn any threat to ashes. Frozen Titans. These Titans rely on the Cryo Launcher, a powerful weapon that takes an experienced pilot to master. So the, 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 uh, the Cryo Launcher. That makes it so that you fire an artillery shot that freezes yourself and an enemy at the same time. It's actually quite strong if you can use it correctly. You know, if you block a spawn and you freeze an enemy, you get unfrozen when you block the spawn. If you block a shot and you freeze an enemy, you thaw out when you block the shot. So it's all about blocking shots and blocking spawns while also getting advantage out of the freezing. Which makes it, I think it may be a little bit difficult to play, but could be very interesting. Hazardous mechs. These mechs have spectacular damage output, but rely on nanobots feeding off dead Vec to stay alive. So probably don't block spawns and kill things. With spect spectacular damage, I hope that we can get, you know, three to four points of damage dealt early. And the fact that it says feeding off dead Vec to stay alive makes me scared because if there's not a lot of Vex to kill, maybe you can't stay alive? I don't know. But regardless, you know, we have nine coins we can select a squad to play as next time, which we will do. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next mission, for the next timeline in Into the Breach.